Welcome back. In this video, we will discuss various storage devices that can be used as data storage in Comvault. Please, like, share, comment, subscribe for more videos, and let's look at various storage devices. Flash drive is a data storage device which has flash memory and is connected using USB interface. It is an optional device that may be used as a back-end storage device. It has its own pros and cons that one need to investigate before considering. Hard disk drive A hard disk drive or fixed disk drive is an electromechanical data storage device that uses magnetic storage to store and retrieve digital information using rapidly rotating disks coated with magnetic material. The disks are connected serial advanced technology attachment cable. SATU is a standard for connecting and transferring data from hard disk drives to computer systems. An external drive is just a hard drive that is connected to a computer on the outside rather than on the inside. They are externally powered, and can be connected to a computer using USB cable. Portable hard disk drive Unlike external drives for stationary use that require power from the wall, a portable hard drive is powered from the USB connection. Plugging into the computer's USB port and deriving all power from USB for its operations. SSD or solid state drive Unlike conventional electromechanical storage such as hard drives which have physical spinning disks and movable read-write heads, SSD contains non-volatile flash memory that stores persistent data on solid state flash memory, because of its much greater speed. Network attached storage or NAS A NAS is a storage device often manufactured as a computer appliance is connected to a network that allows storage and retrieval of data from a central location for authorized network users and varied clients. NAS devices are flexible and scale out, meaning, as you need additional storage, you can add to what you have. Storage Area Network A SAN is a specialized, high speed network that provides block level network access to storage. It presents storage devices to a host such that the storage appears to be locally attached. SANs are commonly based on fiber channel, fiber channel over Ethernet, and Internet small computing system interface. Magnetic Tape Storage A tape drive is a data storage device that reads and writes data on a magnetic tape. It remains well suited for archiving because of its high capacity, low cost and long durability. Cloud Storage a cloud storage is a cloud computing model that stores data on the internet through a cloud computing provider, who manages and operates data storage as a service. It eliminates buying and managing your own data storage infrastructure. Cloud storage is purchased from a third-party cloud vendor who owns and operates data storage capacity, and delivers it over the internet. All the storage devices mentioned in the slide can be used in Comvault but one should be aware of the pros and cons of using them. Let's look at various data transfer speeds across devices. Read-write speeds are measures of performance on storage devices. Universal Serial Bus Various revisions of USB provide various speeds. A USB is intended to enhance plug-and-play, and allow hot swapping. Plug and play enables the operating system to spontaneously configure and discover a new peripheral device without having to restart the computer. As well, hot swapping allows removal and replacement of a new peripheral without having to reboot the operating system. Serial Advanced Technology Attachment or SATA It is a computer bus interface between host bus adapters and mass storage devices such as hard disk drives, solid state drives, and others. Various data transfer speeds are mentioned for various revisions of SATA cable. Use the appropriate storage recommended by vendor for optimal results. Hard disk drive, an HDD uses magnetism to store data on a rotating platter. A read-write head floats above the spinning platter reading and writing data. The faster the platter spins, the faster an HDD can perform. Various speeds of HDD are mentioned in the table. Solid state drives have the fastest read and write speeds, outpacing hard disk drives. 
NAS runs over Ethernet cables, so it is important to choose appropriate cable for your setup. It uses TCP IP and other protocols like CIFS or NFS for data transfer. There are a lot of factors that one need to consider or investigate before implement that could hamper performance. SAN is a high-speed network of storage devices. It provides block-level storage that can be accessed by the applications running on any networked servers. SAN storage devices can include tape libraries and disk-based devices. Organizations often choose to deploy a storage area network because it offers better flexibility, availability and performance. SANs are particularly helpful in backup and disaster recovery settings. Within a SAN, data can be transferred from one storage device to another without interacting with a server. This speeds up the backup process and eliminates the need to use server CPU cycles for backup. LTO tape is an open format tape storage technology, means users have access to multiple sources of storage media products that are compatible. Tape drive uncompressed speeds are listed for your review. Cloud storage speed is based upon the upload speed provided by internet service provider, or leased line provider. Normally upload speed is averagely slower than download speed. If you are considering cloud then do double check the upload speeds from ISP before considering. Now, let's check on IOPS requirements, along with what allocation unit size is needed to format disk drive, for index cache, DDB and disk library. Use a volume dedicated to the index cache directory formatted with a block allocation size of 4K. This volume could be fixed disk drive, or a mounted volume, or LUN from SAN storage, assigned with drive letter to it. We need a minimum of 200 plus random IOPS and, this IOPS requirement would increase as backend data size grows. Digiplication database or DDB, the disk where DDBs hosted on Windows, should be formatted with 32K block size, and the DDBs created for Linux should be formatted with 4K block size. We need a minimum of 200 plus random IOPS for the disk and, as the DDB grows this value increase and the maximum that it can go would be till 20K dedicated random IOPS. Disk library, for Windows, dedicated disk libraries are formatted at 64K. For Linux, use dedicated disk libraries formatted at 4K block size. For IOPS, Use the IO meter tool, to test the IO operations per second on the disk drive. We will try make a separate video for IOPS, let's do some practicals. For this video, we have added three different volumes or LUNs. We will use one for index cache, one for DDB and, one for mount path. We need disk management tool to perform the actions. Click start. Right click on computer, select manage. This open server manager in Windows 2008. Click on disk management. The plug and play should automatically detect the newly allocated storage and, bring up the initialized disk window. We will use MBR partition style for the initialized disks. We will initialize one disk at a time, so let's cancel this window. You will see all disks in the bottom pane and only configured disks on the top pane. Right click on the disk and, select initialize disk. In the initialize disk window, uncheck all drives, leaving the one that is needed. Also, ensure MBR partition style is selected and, then click OK. You see the disk as basic disk. You can also convert the disk as dynamic disk. To format the disk, right click on the volume and, select new simple volume. On the new simple volume wizard, click next. In the simplify volume you can split the volume into different size, for this video we leave as is, and click next. In assign drive letter, or path. Select a drive letter of your choice and click next. 
in the format partition screen, label the volume, under allocation unit size, select 4K that is 4096, under file system leave NTFS, leave the option perform a quick format, enabled and, click next. Review the summary and, click finish. Formatting will take some time depending upon the volume size. Once format complete you should see the volume listed in the top pane. It is also listed and seen in Computer Explorer. We can also check the allocation unit size from command line. Open command prompt and run command, fsutil, fsinfo, ntfsinfo and, the drive letter. Bytes pre-cluster is 4K, that is the one we chose for format. Let's repeat the same steps that we did before for another volume but, this time we will choose allocation unit size as, 32K, which is the recommended size for the deduplication database. For the last volume we do it differently. Right click on the disk and, select initialize disk. In the initialize disk window, ensure disk along with MBR partition style is selected and, then click OK. To format the disk, right click on the volume and, select new simple volume. On the new simple volume wizard, click next. In assign drive letter, or path. Instead of selecting a drive letter let's mount it on a folder. Under, mount in the following empty, NTFS folder, click browse and either select an already created path, or create a new path. Once done click next. In the format partition screen, label the volume. Under allocation unit size, select 64K, under file system leave NTFS, leave the option, perform a quick format, enabled and, click next. Review the summary and, click finish. If you notice this volume is also listed but not with drive letter. In Computer Explorer, you do not see the volume all unlisted.
Once you browse inside the directories, you see the LUN is mounted on the folder, LUN01. From experience what we can say is, one can choose all these storage for disk library. You can use some storage for temporary, to keep the business running and once purpose is solved, you can remove or decommission it. Example, for non-digup data disk library, you can back up data between these storages. Once good storage is obtained, you can move the mount path from X to Y location following a specific process. This process is tricky for Digupe Data Disk Library but not impossible.